Okay, so this is the stock steering gear. We're gonna do a right hand turn. And there's one. Pretty much turn it one revolution for a right hand turn. Alright, here's the right turn. It's about three quarter of a turn, so it's about a quarter turn less than what it was before. Got a 99 Chevy Suburban two-wheel drive and we're going to be replacing the steering gear and the steering shaft. So this is the soulless steering gear. Just kidding. Redhead. Quick ratio. Steering gear box. A little over $400. Um, $150 core charge, $70 to ship it to Texas, that was the two-way, ship it to me, and a tag to ship the core back, taxes, uh, Pittman arm nut was about 20 bucks, right under $700, like $690 to get it to my door, and then I'll have to ship back the core. So all in all, once I get my core charge back, it'll be about $550 for this, this steering gear. Um, say that they're already adjusted, so they don't want you messing with it. And here we got the Cunningham machine lower steering shaft and the intermediate shaft with it. And uh, looks like it's pretty good build quality. We'll test it out. It was about... I think $200 shipped to my door. It's a solid machined bar. That's the only thing not here. Part of our steering shaft is the upper part of the shaft. All right, let's get started. When you unhook the steering shaft, make sure and secure the steering wheel. And you can do something as easy as uh, sliding the seat forward and buckling the seat belt through the steering wheel right now I got the key off and the steering wheel locked but in case um, I'll have to unlock the steering wheel to line up the shaft well and you don't want to do more than a rotation and a half with the steering shaft unhook because you could break the clock spring in the column and uh, you don't want to deploy your airbag okay got the burb jacked up driver's side tire off and uh, Pretty much just for camera purposes, I removed the fan shroud and the fan. Um, that way I can get in here and film the steering box a little better. I'll probably wait to disconnect the steering hoses until after I get some of the bolts and nuts done from underneath. That way it's not dripping on me. So it's uh, one, two, three that mount the steering gear to the frame. And then I got the Pitman R nut. 13 sixteenths. We'll just leave that one loose. Pitman arm puller 27016. Right there. Don't use an impact on a puller. So that's loose, it's just setting on the pitman arm. These guys are loose. Now I'll put a drain pan down here and uh, we'll get some of the power steering fluid out of it. Those we'll use a 18. Okay. I'll take the cap off the power steering pump to get it some air so it can drain. Alright. Right. Using a pry bar, we'll slide back the shaft. 
There it goes. I finished taking off this last bolt. Okay, so now all three bolts are out. Just got this little rubber cap. I drilled a hole through. That should seal right there on the uh, power steering pump. And I'm just gonna blow all the fluid out of these lines so we can fill it up with clean fluid. I got the ends of these hoses. Okay, there's one. There's two. I'll slide that down. It's hard to see what it looks like right there. That's the intermediate shaft. WD-40. 15 millimeter. Okay, nut. Then that slides out. Okay, here's the old one. Notice that little pin on the end is different. I don't know what the difference in that is. We'll leave the plugs in there to keep anything from falling down in there when I install it. Now that Pittman arm on this spline does have a, a spline missing. Right there you can see that this slot, focus, that slot is bigger. So it does only go on, <clears throat> does only go on one way into the Pittman arm. I'm going to clean up the threads on these. So we're going to put a drop of uh, red Loctite. Okay. okay. So I just got the impact on low and I'm going to just run them in. 100 foot pounds. Okay, I'll do a quick comparison of the old shaft and the new one. Here's the one with the rag joint. And, uh, the rag joint looks really old. It doesn't have any side to side play with my hand. Play by hand, but it is pretty squishy and soft. nothing really that can wear on the intermediate shaft um, this is a retainer for the tube so I'll probably if it'll fit I'm gonna move this over to this it cracked coming off but I thought it did yeah right there you can see it kind of cracked a little bit but I think it'll still do its job. About right there. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. So I'm going to grease this intermediate shaft and lower shaft just with some bearing grease 
Pack a little in there. I'll we'll spot this boot down. And this go in there. And that is going to go on the bottom. Take that off. Put that on last. Clean up this mounting bolt. That is ready. There we go. There we go. So you want that set screw on the lower shaft on the very bottom that way it sets in the groove if you put it on the top side and try to set it down you know a dangerous situation is it sliding off okay okay so we're going to take out this lower set screw and make sure Look up to that set screw hole and make sure that we're centered on the groove of the steering shaft splines. I'll push it back a little bit. It's about right there is where we need to be on them. Yeah, the 530 seconds is the right size. Put a little bit of red Loctite on the threads. And we'll thread it in. Nice and tight. Set the lock nut. There we go, nice and tight. I have a sofa Pitman arm nut. Torque is 184 pounds. Use the lock washer. I'll get it started. Redhead supplies, new hose, O-rings, in their kit. That's all they send. Not much instructions and no stickers. Redhead, why will you not send stickers? I'm going to steal this one for the sticker wall. Kind of disappointing. Got that ready. Got the oil drain pan back underneath because probably going to need it. Pop off this cap here. Yep. Don't scratch your setup, knock off your old o ring. Move it up with some power stern fluid. Move that up. Pop that on. Turn hose. I just put a little bit of power stern put on my finger, a little bit both of them, pop it on. Okay. 
go. There's a the return line. If it helps you remember, uh, pressure line on passenger side. Nice and tight. Okay, so I went ahead and installed the wheel, fan, fan shroud. And uh, now we're going to get down to filling the reservoir and bleeding the lines. So I'm going to fill this up. Up halfway, we're going to fire it up, look for leaks, turn the wheel left and right to help circulate the fluid. And uh, we'll maintain our level, make sure we don't uh, run it dry. Shut it right back off, and I guess there's a little in there, but let's fill it back up. Air bubbles when you're bleeding the system will be normal. We'll have to keep checking it as air bubbles go away, the level will drop. We'll check the fluid real quick. Shut it off and let the bubbles settle out. There is a full cold line, so it's just a little above that. That's probably good to do a test drive. Let it work all the air bubbles out. Alright, here's the right turn. It's about three quarter of a turn, so it's about a quarter turn less than what it was before. And there's one much turn it one revolution for a right hand turn definitely way less play on the highway maybe five percent each way that's about it until it touches the end of the gear see it's got about that much play I'm not getting any hardly any movement not much maybe 10 degrees or so Okay, uh, went on the test drive and I actually had to come back home and do the bleeding procedure one more time. I still, it started when I was going from left to right. I kept getting caught up with maybe some air bubbles in the line, but now it's, it's smooth. One, two, and a half. Yeah, fully it's two and a half turns. Honestly, my wife didn't even notice I uh, I know it's a quick ratio of box but I really didn't even notice that much of a difference in town but I wouldn't do a quick ratio again if it was more price because it's not big enough uh, difference for me but the uh, it's tight it's a tight box I don't have the play that I had I mean it's back and forth that's almost perfect right there Happy with the box, just not really impressed with the quick turn ratio. That's all I got for that. Adios.